pet stores selling designer dogs for thousands of dollars only to pass them off as rescues? Tonight, a two on your side investigation goes undercover to expose a loophole in a new state law banning the sale of purebred puppies. Kick Online's investigator Christine Lazard joins us now with a preview of her report. You know, a lot of people thought after that law passed, which went into effect in January, that we'd no longer see puppies for sale. But they are still in those pet stores, and what we found was pretty shocking. Now, the backers of AB 485 wanted to reduce the flow of animals from out-of-state breeders and thereby boost the amount of dogs adopted out of our local shelters. But we found that these pet shops are taking advantage of a loophole in the law. I'm just looking for a dog, a, a cute one. Puppies for sale. Uh-huh. And you always shot. Shot Doodles and Lhasa Opsos, Shih Tzus, Maltese's, King Charles Cavaliers, and French Bulldogs selling for four figure prices. This little guy, Bubba, he's $3,000. We went undercover at three pet stores, Puppy Space in Santa Ana, Hello Puppies in Temecula, and its sister store, National City Puppies in San Diego County. We saw puppies being sold months after the state ban on the retail sale of puppies went into effect. I'm interested in like the French bulldog and the poodle. The animals are advertised as purebred or designer mix rescue puppies. So are these from shelters? They're all rescues. You're being conned. Um, it's, it's blatant consumer and charity fraud. So where are these dogs coming from, if not from legitimate rescues and shelters? Well, we'll tell you what investigators have found tonight on our sister station, CBS 2 at 11. Susie and Jeff.